it's not a bad thing to be exalted. It's just a question of who's doing the exalting. Get your coffee. One of the things that we all endure to one extent or another is the scrutinizing critique of others. None of us really like to be critiqued. In fact, we will often do as much as we can to remain under the radar to avoid criticism. The problem is, is that at the same time that we try to avoid critical comments from others, we love to be liked. We enjoy when people speak well of us. This is one of the huge challenges presented to us in our social media saturated society. We will post pictures on Instagram, quick little videos on TikTok, and our pithy little thoughts on Twitter, hoping for views, likes, shares, and retweets. But as soon as we have even a single thumbs down or a critical comment, we are completely deflated. Jesus was continually scrutinized and constantly critiqued. Everywhere he went, the people watched him closely. And among the watchers were not only those that watched with excitement and interest and fascination, but also those that observed with a conspiratorial displeasure. They watched him closely to, if possible, entrap and ensnare him in his words and his actions. At one point, as Jesus was being watched and scrutinized, he gave a teaching that I and many others have wrestled with for a very long time. Jesus said, whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. This, like many of the things that Jesus said, is challenging. We live in a culture that values and expects self-promotion. And like I said previously, we thrive on the likes and affirmations of the crowd. We're encouraged to take our place and to push our agenda and promote our platforms, but we're very conflicted because though we like the affirming likes and shares, we are devastated by critique. I can get several hundred views and dozens of likes on one of these videos, and then one thumbs down in like five videos, and my thought for the next 10 hours will be, I wonder what it was that I said that made some unnamed and unknown individual not like my video. It is challenging. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. That saying from Jesus came after he told a story saying, when you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honorable than you be invited by him. And he who invited you and him come and say to you, give place to this man, And then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down in the lowest place, so that when he who invited you comes, he may say to you, friend, go up higher. Then you will have glory in the presence of those that sit at the table with you. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. It's not a bad thing to be exalted. It's just a question of who's doing the exalting. And often those that are exalted with calls for coronation on one day are exalted with calls for crucifixion on the next. Something to think about. We'll see you next time.